All right, I'm back. Who missed me? Um, so Ubisoft's press conference. Now, even though Ubisoft actually had less games than EA, their games were more impressive. Uh, EA, EA had a you know a pretty good laundry list, like a laundry list of games, uh, but they had a lot, like half of them I weren't I wasn't really interested in. Um, now Ubisoft, Ubisoft, well they started off with Far Cry 4. Uh, Far Cry 4 really seemed, the Far Cry series right now, what they seem to be going for is to uh, create the most excep exceptional standout villains in their games. You know, the villains that you really remember. That's that, you know, you that you remember because they were so unique, you know, and uh, they, they were just outstanding. Uh, unlike many villains that we see in games now, they're just, they, we kill them at the end of the game and they just leave our mind after that. We don't even remember it. Like, who? Who was the boss of that game? But, you know, Voss was just such, uh, he was just so full of substance in Far Cry 3. He was just such a, a real character. He was a psycho. You know, he was very memorable. Um, so that's what they seem to be going with the villain in Far Cry 4. He seems to be his own person in, in many different ways. Um, I, I kind of say he reminds me of the villain from uh, Skyfall, the, the gay villain from uh, the, that 007 movie, Skyfall, I think it was. Kind of reminds me of him. Uh, Just Dance, nobody cares about that. Um, the Division, my most anticipated game once again, and what I'm predicting to be my game of the year uh, for 2015. Um, but, you know, you never know with these Ubisoft games, man. You don't know what they're going to end up looking like and playing like. We learned that with Watch Dogs. Not that Watch Dogs is a bad game. Uh, I still need. I still haven't beaten Watch Dogs. I'm still trying to get through it. Um, but Watch Dogs is easily the best game to come out so far this year. Easily. Not, not even a debate. Um... The Crew, which is my most anticipated f driving or racing game, um, because, you know, that's the type of games, racing games or driving games I'm into, not the type of stuff where you just drive around in circles and like a circuit race and stuff and realistic cars. No, I want to drive off-road and do some crazy whacked out stunts that I couldn't do probably in real life. That's the type of driving game I'm into. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to The Crew, which I think they said comes out uh, this uh November this year. Um, the Division is obviously next year. Far Cry 4 is this year. Is, is this year, I believe. Um, Assassin's Creed Unity. You know, Assassin's Creed, what more do you say about the franchise? Of course, it's, great. it's, it's a good franchise, but I personally can't keep up with them anymore. Uh, I can't keep up with them anymore. I, I would love if this franchise was every, like, two years. I honestly would like that, but... You know, and I would like to play the series. It's not like the series is bad, necessarily, really, but it, it's still good. Um, but it's just like damn near impossible to keep up with it anymore unless you're like one of, one of those hardcore Assassin's Creed fans and you don't have all these other games to play during the year and, you know, you don't get just backtracked with all these games. Um, Shape Up, nobody cares about that. That was just some fitness game. Uh, Valiant Hearts, it looked like a... It look uh, the Valiant Hearts, the Great War, look a very interesting concept. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'm interested in that. And we learned that they changed. I'm looking at my phone. That's why I keep looking down at. Um, we learned that they changed Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy. What was it called? Rainbow Six Patriots. To they completely seem to change the whole concept of the game. Is what it is. Um, you know, they went back to the drawing board and changed it to a arena type um, I don't know if it's only going to be five on five but strategic type of type of um, game game and it's now called Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege and I like it but I like the concept and, and the whole scheme of it but it looks kind of like a last resort like okay like they went back to the drawing board as we learned um, with Patriots for whatever reason the idea that they had with Patriots wasn't working out or whatever and this just seems like Okay, we don't got much else. What can we do with this game? Uh, let's go. Let, let's go with our safety net, you know, and just make it like this thing uh, a type of hostage, you know, uh, multiplayer situation type thing um, which is not necessarily a problem, but I think uh, what they what Patriots was doing was a lot more uh, a little bit more adventurous. Uh, it was a lot more um, 
you know, uh, seems like they were going for more uh, to do more with that uh, with that game. Um, this game seems to be a lot smaller in scope of ideas, innovativeness, and all that. Uh, but I'm still looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, I would say most of most of these games, you know, definitely looking forward to the uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Valiant Hearts, uh, The Crew, The Division, Far Cry 4, definitely De looking forward to those games. So uh, Ubisoft had uh, definitely uh, a good conference. Um, Aisha, uh, what was her name, Alicia Taylor, Tyler, she always good to look at. Um, so that always helps. Um, so yeah, they definitely had a good conference. I, I would say their conference last year w was like a little bit better, I would say so. Um, but they definitely had a good conference. Now I'm about to go watch Nintendo's conference, and I think I might do a video of who who I think won E3. All right, so I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.